Hi y'all, Dorian here, and for today's video, I want to take a trip to the world of Solani as part of the Island Living Pack and put together a boathouse. Uh, this is inspired by, they're called the Seahorses. Um, it's a group of luxury homes that are being built off the coast of Dubai, and they're called that because they have this distinctive F shape meant to resemble a seahorse. Now, the actual structures are three floors, including an underwater floor. Uh, sadly, we are not including the underwater floor as part of this build, but I thought the, you know, above water structure, I thought we'd try to do an approximation of that. Um, you see pictures of these, they have, you know, sleek curved lines, more of a modern build. We weren't able to replicate all the, all the curved lines, so to speak, but I think we did a pretty good representation of the structures overall. Um, as you see at this point, I'm building out the overall structure. Uh, this is actually a, you know, fairly straightforward build to put together. Um, this is one of the first times I didn't have to go back and, you know, redo, redo a lot of stuff. As you will see as, as we get further along the video with the refill, there were some things that redid, but overall, the overall structure of the, of the, um, boathouse was, did not have to change that much at all. Uh, so at this point, you know, we're figuring out what to do with the, with the above level deck, putting some stairs in, um, right now I'm trying to shaping what will be a bathroom and eventually a kitchen. Um, originally the kitchen was placed downstairs, but as we'll see in the video, I removed that in lieu of a, uh, second bedroom. Um, at this point we're just working out the, the fencing around it. We wanted to have like, you know, nicely glass fence, you know, kind of make clean lines. Um, I was trying to put a pool onto the deck. Um, in the pictures they have like this thing that looked like a pool. It's actually more of like a, like a floating bed type thing, but eventually I realized, you know, we're on the water anyway, so we don't necessarily need a pool in the structure. So, um, they kind of nix that, but I just see this little cutout structure up here. I was trying to replicate, they have like a built-in bar in some of the pictures I've seen. Um, so I was trying to recreate that and I wanted to do a mix of kind of the stark white they have as well as like the wood tones. So eventually, it, originally I used the wall from one of the walls from Eco Lifestyle. I did end up changing it just because it was the only thing from Eco Lifestyle I was using. I try not to, um, I don't mind using multiple packs, but I'd rather if I'm going to use only one thing from a pack, I try to find a substitution for it. With that said, this is being posted to the gallery and the gallery says that there is an Eco Lifestyle wall still in the structure. I, for the life of me, have not been able to find it. So if you download this and you see it, um, you know, please tell me where it is because I spent a good half hour looking for it and I had absolutely no idea. Um, but I'm assuming since I can't see it, it's not going to impact, you know, what you download. So, you know, if you do download it, I hope you're going to enjoy it. But if you do see a, you know, blank piece of drywall somewhere, feel free to fill it in with whatever you'd like. Um, so at this point where, you know, kind of, framing out what will be originally be the kitchen this will eventually be changed but um kind of the master also in the master bedroom slash kind of living room area you know i didn't want to put a whole whole lot of interior space in here because i wanted you know the the deck and both the decks to kind of speak for them kind of speak for themselves and that's going to be your primary that's going to be mostly your living space however i did you know figure it makes sense to put the bed inside as well as you know as well as the bathroom, obviously, and um, since part of it is covered, there's a couple. There are a couple. They're going to end up being a couple chairs inside, but for the most part, it's all going to be outdoor seating. Um, but yeah, I think at this point, yep, from this point, this was the original location of the kitchen. Um, as you watch the speed build, you will see that I do remove this kitchen in lieu of and um, and put a second bedroom in its place. But then I forget to actually add a kitchen back in. So once we do the reveal, you will see I've moved the kitchen upstairs, but you know, for right now, as you're going through this, if you notice that it disappears and it doesn't come back right away, um, I did catch that and we did, and we were able to take care of it. But, um, but yeah, as far as our, um, as far as furniture goes, I tried to find stuff that was, you know, a little sleek, a little more modern and the dream home decorator pack is actually really good for that. Um, some of it looks like Ikea furniture, which, you know, for better or worse, but there are, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of really sleek, pretty cool stuff in there. So I thought this would be a good pack to make use of. And at this point, yep, we're just point, we're just decorating the, you know, the master bedroom space. Um, we're figuring out what windows to use. I think I just stuck with the base game, um, the base game 12 windows, just because I wanted to let as much light in as possible. Um, you'll also see me struggling a bit with the ladder. It took me a while to realize that 
the actual like ocean ladders are a completely different thing um, than the pool ladders and the regular ladders. So I'm putting a pool ladder there now. Um, I did struggle with it a bit because it was kind of floating and I didn't realize that there was an alternative. Um, eventually I did figure it out. So in the reveal, you'll see there are actual usable ladders there. Um, as far as the hot tubs go, I believe these are from the, I think it's the, I think it's called the perfect patio pack. Um, but I don't like the base game hot tub. I don't like that little gazebo awning thing they put over top of it. So I thought this pack, you know, was the perfect, you know, was the perfect thing to use. Cause I really like the hot tubs that they use in there. And if I wasn't able to have a pool on the, if I wasn't able to have a pool in the actual like structure of the boat, I at least wanted to have, you know, a couple hot tubs. So at this point we're doing the, um, upstairs bathroom. This goes through quite a few iterations. Um, as you'll kind of see during this speed build and as part of the final video. Um, I did try to, it did take me a little bit to figure out how I wanted to approach this kind of built-in bar. So I did try using some of the lighted up, the I think the, the lighted juice shelves, I forget exactly what they're called. Um, I thought that made a good representation, but then once I realized that I forgot the kitchen, we end up having to drop this idea completely. So if you download this, if you have an opportunity to add a bar back in, I would highly encourage you to do so because it makes sense for me to have like a separate bar space on a luxury, um, on a luxury boat like this. Now we'll say there is a bar, there is still a bar in the, in the final product. We just don't have the, like the, the liquor, or I'm sorry, the juice display, so to speak. Um, but yeah, so at this point, you know, like I said, most of the, sh for the most part, the structure is done. Like I said, this was a fairly easy structure to put together. Um, it didn't require too, too much tweaking. Um, so at this point, it's just a lot of decor. Just kind of have, you know, a lot of patio furniture. Um, there's a sofa and love seat set from the Seasons pack, which to me makes really, really great outdoor outdoor furniture. Super, you know, looks super comfortable. Um, I know it's not real, but it looks super comfortable. I did originally have a fire pit up on the second deck, which I don't know if that's the safest thing on a boat or not, but I ended, I do end up removing it just because it was the only thing I was using from, I think the camping pack. I'm forgive me. I'm forgetting what's called at the moment. And like I said, if I'm only using one thing from a, from a pack, I will try to, I'll try to find alternatives. Um, so, you know, we do end up removing the bonfire thing, which as far as, you know, safety standards go, that's probably for the best anyway. Um, as you'll see, as part of this build, I do, uh, as I mentioned, I do end up moving the kitchen. Well, after I remember to add the kitchen back in, I do end up moving the kitchen. We may kind of make a second bedroom downstairs just because to me, it would make sense to, for a house, you know, even though it's a houseboat, technically it should have more than one bed. So yeah, as you see, I'm removing the kitchen now, kind of moving everything over, um, it's kind of a smaller bedroom. Um, at first I was okay with it because I figured you're not going to spend a lot of time in the bedroom anyway, um, especially because it is more of like a kid's room slash guest room, so there are bunk beds, but I do expand it eventually as you'll see in the final reveal. Um, at some point later on in this video, I will also add a, a shoreline cabana and a pier. Um, I wasn't originally going to connect the pier to the houseboat, but I wasn't sure what issues that would cause in game. I knew you can swim out to this, but I figured having a way to actually walk out to it would probably be the better, would probably be a good thing as well. So um, we do add a pier and we add a little, you know, like a little cabana on the shore with a grill and a couple tables. That way, you know, if you did want to leave, if, you know, your Sims didn't want to leave the boat and have a, you know, place to relax on the beach, they, it's a good, it would be a good opportunity to do so. Um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much it for the narration at this point. So gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I think I've explained everything and I will be back for the final review.
Alright guys, and I'm back for the final review of the seahorse inspired houseboat. I know I've called it a boathouse interchangeably through the video. I think they are two completely separate things, but it's, for all practical purposes, it's a houseboat. I know it's on, um, I know it ends up being on, uh, on posts, but, you know, we did, we did the best we could with it. But yeah, here is, you know, the final structure of the, the houseboat itself. We have our little shoreline cabana with the pier. Um, let's go ahead and start with the cabana. It's you know fairly straightforward. Just has a um, few chairs, has a grill, you know the mailbox, um, and our trash can because you need to have a trash can. Um, as you see, I did eventually extend the pier to the um, houseboat. I figured it would, like I said, I know you can swim out to this, but I figured it would make sense to be able to walk out to it as well. Um, other than that, I didn't make too too many changes overall to where we left off in the video i did add a bit more decor um i built and i built this very late last night so i realized when i logged back in this when i logged back in to look at it today that i didn't you know, do a whole whole lot of decoration so we ended up doing that as you can also see i did finally figure out how the ladder situation works so we do have actual legitimate ladders that can be used um, and yeah, let's go floor by floor. Let's go ahead and start on the ground floor, which I think probably has the the most drastic change. And that is the removal of the kitchen and the expansion of the second bedroom. Um, we still have the bunk beds, but I did, you know, increase it a little bit just because, you know, it, it was basically a closet before. So we still have, you know, we have a couple more, a little more room for seating. We have, a, you know, they have their own TV. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it the bathroom i think stayed for the most part stayed the same um and then the you know i guess the master the master bedroom still has the bed the chairs the tv i did add you know curtains because i figured you know you'd probably they would probably want some privacy um but yeah that is it for the ground floor i would say i really do like these um i forget what they're called the scroll of the mermaid tail from the um island living set and i thought those were like super cute and it was you know it made sense to add this since we did bases build in sulani um i will say i wish there were more uh worlds that had this kind of like half water half land that you could build on just because i don't i mean i love i do love this world i think it's gorgeous but i would love to be able to build something that doesn't necessarily need to have like this tropical vibe like um the cats and dogs world for example, you know, kind of have like that New England type feel. I think that'd be really cool, like build, be able to build a marina at least halfway out into the water. But you know, that's a you know conversation for another day. EA, if you happen to be watching this, you know, take that to heart, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, here is our you know I guess our ground floor, our first floor rather, because we're not really on the ground. And then the second floor, you can see I did um, end up shrinking down the bathroom a little bit, and I did put our we did end up with a full kitchen. Um, there is, like I said, there is a bar, but you kind of lost, we kind of lost that like cool bar type display. Um, but you know, everything works. I did, you know, use the dream home decorator, um, oven, the, the separate ovens and stove tops to, you know, kind of give you a little more counter space. I do believe, I think little, in little Simsy's video, she showed that, you know, this is still, they will still use this as a counter space. So I think we still have a good amount of counter space for being such a small area. Um, but yeah, again, as I mentioned, I did remove the I did remove the fire pit just because I didn't want that to be the only thing from Outdoor Retreat. Um, and that is the pack is called Outdoor Retreat. I forgot the name earlier. I just called it the camping pack. But um, I did remove that, and then I switched around the I guess the you know dining room table and then the chairs because I thought it would make sense to have this a little bit closer to the kitchen. But we retained our hot tubs. You know, we added a few plants, added a few pictures, and then that is pretty much it so this is our seahorse inspired houseboat with a shoreline cabana um, this is available on the gallery under my ea id is dorian kahali as i mentioned um earlier there is as far as i can see there is no eco lifestyle in here so if you don't have the pack don't be deterred by the little icon for it um it says there's a wall i I spent a good half hour trying to look for it. Um, there was originally a wall in here, but I did end up replacing it. Um, but if you if you do find it, you know, please let me know. Um, so I'd love to you know where, know where it ended up. But it shouldn't 
it shouldn't change anything. You know, if not not having that shouldn't detract shouldn't detract you from downloading this from the gallery if you so want. But that is all I have. So until next guy until next time, thank you guys and I hope you have a great day.